Hey everybody, so today I got to talk about async and await in JavaScript. Async and await are two keywords. By using these two keywords together, they allow you to write asynchronous code in a synchronous manner. Async makes a function return a promise. Await makes an async function wait for a promise. We'll discuss async first. In this sample program from the last topic, we have some chores to do. We have to walk the dog, clean the kitchen, and take out the trash. Each of these functions returns a promise, a promise that can either resolve or reject, based on the code that's written. If the dog is walked, if that's true, resolve. If it's false, reject. A function can be declared with async. A function declared with async will return a promise. However, that promise that's returned doesn't resolve or reject. In a way, you could say it's an empty promise. If I were to run this code, this is what happens. Uncaught reference error. Resolve is not defined. If an asynchronous function returns a promise that either needs to resolve or reject, adding async to it really doesn't benefit us. Async works together with await. By using these two keywords together, when calling all of these asynchronous functions in order, we don't need to method chain then statements. There's a more synchronous manner in which we can write the same code, but we'll need to contain it all within an async function. Async function will create a function to do chores. Then we will need to call this function somewhere. Let's do so right here. First, we need to walk the dog. Walk the dog returns a promise. That's where the await keyword comes in. Await makes an async function wait for a promise before continuing. We're going to create a constant of walk dog result equals use the await keyword await walk dog. Then we will console dot log the walk dog result. You walk the dog. Now let's do this with clean kitchen. We're going to be writing this code in a synchronous manner, line by line, linearly. We will create a constant for clean kitchen result equals await the next promise. Await clean kitchen. Then console.log clean kitchen result. Let me close this. You walk the dog. You clean the kitchen. And last, we have takeout trash const takeout trash result equals await take out the trash then console.log the result you walk the dog you clean the kitchen you take out the trash let's add one more line when we finish everything one more line of code you finished all the chores you walk the dog you clean the kitchen, you take out the trash, you finished all the chores. Let me show you what happens if we attempt to use await within a function not declared with async. Uncaught syntax error. Await is only valid in async functions. That's why await depends on async. Await makes an async function wait for a promise before continuing. Now, if your promises can reject, let's say that dog walked is false. Uncaught, in promise, you didn't walk the dog. We'll surround all of this code within a try block, then catch any errors. Catch one parameter of error. We can console.log or console.error the error. You didn't walk the dog. All right, everybody, so that is a sync and await. A sync makes a function return a promise. Await makes an async function wait for a promise. By using these two keywords together, we can write asynchronous code in a synchronous manner. And well, everybody, that is a sync and await in JavaScript.